All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Pay Per Preview. This time, we are definitely going to try and keep it clean. Just an experiment. Just to see how far we get. <coughs> I am the one and only vile, vulgar, war machine MJ with the one and only Rodimus Prime. Mm -hmm. The one to shop United States champion. And, of course, we are honored with his presence, the WWE Wonder Shop champion, Mainstream! Malcolm. Malcolm. Feel like he uh, won a gold medal at the Olympics. Yeah, he won a gold medal for taking a shit. Ugh, you should have smelled it earlier. You Damn it! He Our, fucked it up. Uh, Alright, I can cut that out. Anyway, we're here to talk about WWE Money in the Bank! Show to what you drink. No, we're not doing that again. No, yeah. we've done that like two different times. That is true. These videos. We've but anyway, it, we've as done it, it so many times. But you know what? Well, let's do this. Money in the bank because all three of us just got paid this week. That's right. Yay. So we have money in the bank. Exactly. Let's hope this pay per view feels the same. Yes. I just hope they <coughs> don't mess it up. I think it'll be better than uh, Extreme Rules. Oh, it's going to be way better than that. <laughs> I have to remember what it was. Yeah. But anyway, that's, how, that's how this remember, that's how it's up. It's so, so bad. Yeah. We just forgot about it. Anyways, but we're not here to talk about that other pay per view. We're here to talk about Money in the Bank. As yep. these guys said, it will be in the hometown of one Randy Orton, who we'll talk about a little later, in St. Louis at the All State Arena. But as usual, like most pay per views, they have to have a pre show. Yep. So, with six matches on the card, looks I mean, pretty stellar. The show itself looks stellar, but we'll start off with the pre show, of course. Didn't we have six matches last time? At Extreme Rules? I think it was six, seven yeah. matches. I think it was six plus uh, the pre-show match. Yeah. Well, six overall. Okay, yeah. But anyway, the pre-show match will involve the returning hype, bros. They don't get hype. They, they stay, stay hype. hype. Mojo hype. Riley, Zack Ryder. Woo, woo, woo. You know no. it, bros. And they will be taking on the Colognes. <laughs> okay, okay. Enough said. As... Insignificant as the colognes are, I'm glad they've dropped the Shining Stars gimmick. Yes. I'm glad that they're Thank back to the colognes. Thank you, God. I love you so much. I, I don't, but okay. Anyway, <laughs> but, you know, I, maybe they can give their wrestling talent some time to shine because, you know, they're from the Cologne family, which is prominent over in Puerto Rico and, you know, South America. Yeah, pretty much everywhere they've been. Yeah, they're like one of the biggest families in wrestling. Wrestling and Lucha Libre too. Yeah. A little bit. But the high bros. There is no way in heck they are losing. They just got back. I would be shocked if they did. You know, not to say that the Colognes aren't bad wrestlers. They're okay. It's just that their gimmick just we don't care. They don't have a gimmick. They're just the colognes. Well, yeah, I'm talking about when they were the shining stars. Oh, th their gimmick sucks. Yeah. Let's face it. But anyway, just to sum all this up, we're taking the high bros. Agreed? Agreed. We're not saying... Agreed? Agreed. Okay. We're not saying the colognes are bad. We're just saying the high bros are returning, and yeah. when you return, you don't lose your first match. Yeah. And Zack Ryder coming off that knee injury... You know, we're going to see what type of rust he has in the ring. He's been out some, some months due to the knee injury. But, like we said, we're picking the height, bros. What if he doesn't have any ring rust? Good question. We'll see. Come tomorrow. Let's move on to the SmackDown Women's Championship uh, match. It is Naomi defending her championship as she brings her glow to St. Louis against the re debuting, the re-debuting of Lana. Okay. Um, thoughts on this? Uh, she wanted it, so she can going get it. I'm gun shy <laughs> about Lana after her last debut. Yeah. Kind of shite in the ring. So, well, I mean, like Shane McMahon and Naomi said, who has she beaten? She doesn't deserve a shot. Yeah. At least she's not like Rosa Mendez, where she had like one match in like 10 years. <laughs> That's her point. I mean, no disrespect to Rosa, but she sucked. That being said, uh, I feel like this will be a meh match, an okay yeah. match. I'm but taking Naomi. We're pretty much unanimous. Naomi's going to win this. Naomi's, Naomi's going to yeah, win Na Yeah, Naomi's going to win <coughs> I don't see Lana winning at all at 
any form or capacity. Yes. Now we'll move on to the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. It will be the Usos and their penitentiary taking on the... Your boys. The, the New Day. Day. Rocks. That they do. Fellas. Honey. Oh, honey. How y'all feel? I was saying that earlier this week at work. I was just saying it to myself. Oh, honey. I just like doing that. Who, oh, Xavier did that? Yeah. yeah. He always does that, yeah. No, I did like uh, the New Day's promo when they came back. You know, uh, where they told the Usos simply, we like those belts, and we want some. And then they picked up Kofi, and, you know, they start aiming his crotch at the Usos. Exactly. It was so good. Uh, <laughs> but I, I really feel like this match will definitely be somewhat of a barn burner. I feel like it will be in one of, it will be one of the matches of the night. Mm -hmm. um, the Usos. They're really good. Yeah. Okay. New Day. Better. That's, but, go ahead. But, two of them combined, could be match of the night. Exactly. But with all that being said, uh -oh. I'm taking you. the New Day. Who do you say? New Day. Well, I'm going to play the devil's advocate and say the Usos. <gasps> the New Day uh -oh. are going to win the belts. That is an inevitability. But it's going to be a rematch, though. So. But I feel like the Usos are going to win underhandedly to make sure their day one is still H. Mm. Is H. But, the, uh, but I feel like the New Day will either pick up the belt at Battleground or SummerSlam. That is true. You may never know. They might have. Them. They had a pretty. They have a pretty good showing when it comes to SummerSlam. Yeah. That said, you know I'm still taking the Usos. I mean the New Day. I'm still taking the New Day. New Day. Malcolm's taking the New Day. He's taking the Usos. We feel like it'll be a definite barber. Somewhat of a barn burner. We'll see how it turns out. Tomorrow. Honey, honey. Now let's move on to something historic, something spectacular that will happen. <gasps> now we'll hear the word historic twenty times during this main event. As if we don't hear it enough. It is the first ever women's money in the bank ladder match. I must say before I list the competitors, that briefcase does look nice. I mean, it looks all right. Why? Yeah. It's oh. just. White with gold trim. It, yeah. it, it looks alright. It looks good. But the five competitors in this first ever match are Tamina, Carmella, Naomi, I mean Natalia, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte. Almost messed up there. I almost messed up. But Fellas, how do y'all feel about this match? I think it'll be pretty good. We'll see some good spots. We'll probably see Charlotte pull off a moonsault from the ladder. I was just saying the same thing. We'll probably see Charlotte. Putting somebody through the table like she did with Natalia again. Uh, I don't know about that one. We not. may see her dump Natalia onto a ladder, just like breaking it out. Like five on the shower? Yeah, there. you know, like Sami Zayn did to Kevin Owens, where he died. Five for five minutes. Or, again. Or we may see uh, Tamina get on top of a ladder and do a frog splash. Or just super kick the shell somebody. She does have nice super kicks. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. Fellas. Well, how, how do you guys feel about <coughs> who's going to win? Well, before I say who's going to win, I will say that there was an interview they did on, uh, I think it's on WWE's YouTube channel, where Tamina was talking about the match and being it's on Father's Day tomorrow and, you know, she's honoring her late father. I feel like, you know, even though she really doesn't do anything for me, I feel like she'll be the dark horse of the match. Oh, definitely. Because mm -hmm. she has been there for... So many long. She so. debuted the same time as the Usos. And yeah. she has just been shoved to the side. She's yeah, been well, me. They, they've just pushed her to the side, me attering around, just walking around. Hey, yeah, she just mills about. Just give me a chance. Yeah. Uh, Whether she's on injury or off injury, she just mills about. Yeah. Just, hey, that here. said, I feel like this is the obvious choice. Charlotte. Malcolm. Who do you say? Mm, I almost say Charlotte too, but I kind of want Carmella to win. Like, in a way, it'd be great for her. You want her and her side bitch to win. Yeah, that side whore. Duh! Uh, uh, fuck but you're thing. saying, uh, Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte, but I wouldn't mind seeing... I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Carmelo or Natalia or uh, Tamina win. What about Becky? Eh, I've seen that already. Okay. The other three I can see, especially uh, either between Natalia and Tamina, it's been way too long. Yeah, especially Natty. 
Like she's been, she it's been like since 2008 for her. Yeah, like yeah. It's somewhere there. And yeah. Tamina have been have never so. Yeah, she never had an opportunity. Yeah, so they get, just push her to the side. Anyways. Anyways, but I say Charlotte is not my pick. She does not need that briefcase. She don't really have to get it. That that briefcase has been used as a launching pad for some of these folks, you know, to become champion. You know, like Edge, Rob Van Dam, CM Punk, uh, Kane. Kane, you're not going to agree with me on this one, but Jack Swagger. I'll say Jack. Well, he, he, was, he was good back then. Oh, yeah, he was good, but... When they actually utilized him properly. Yeah, but, you know, after that, he's pretty much a flash in the pan. Yeah. Anyway, but Charlotte, I feel like, does not need this belt. She's got more than enough success and star power with her name that she does not need this. I'm going to say Carmella. With that side whore. Because I have heard, you know, rumors that people might give, people in the back might give Carmella a shot at the title. Yeah, really. And, this is going to be another prediction. If this match comes on before the women's title match, I see Carmella cashing in. Really? Yep. That'd be oh. soon as fuck. That'd hey, be... I mean, Dean Ambrose did it last year. Yeah. Cashed in on a... Cashed in the same night. I forgot who you cashed it on. Uh, it was um, it was Reigns versus Rollins uh, when Rollins came back. Yeah. Rollins won, but Ambrose cashed in. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was the night all three members of Shield held the belt. That yeah, was, yeah. On the same night. That that, that was playing hard as yeah. well. That was great. That was great too, though. Yeah. And but, the crowd went crazy. But he says Charlotte. He says Charlotte. I say Carmella and Dusworth. And Shitworth. And, and Shitworth. That guy's just... Shitworth. Oh, I'm sorry. God. Anyway, let's move on to the <laughs> men's side of the Money in the Bank ladder I match. I could cut that out. I'm sorry, you two. This time, it's six men. You have, in this match, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Haru. The face of America, the United States of America champion, as you said. America! Kevin <laughs> Owens. I love you, Chris. The underdog Sami Zayn, the lone wolf Baron Corbin, Baron Corbin, the show off Dolph Ziggler, and the rock star Shinsuke Nakamura. The ah! Shinsuke Nakamura. You know what? I would rather them call him rock star than the artist, cause he acts like a rock star. He is well. Like he's a, a global rock star. He acts like a Japanese rock star. You know, he's got the, the crazy movie. clothes. He's got the crazy movement. Come on. He acts all crazy. But, yeah. but they're really going overboard with this name. Sorry. I, again, rock star, a lot better than the artist. It's gay that they have the artist on there. It's, it, it's, it's dumb. The, I don't think I've ever seen dumb it. dumb as fuck. Well, it's too late. Uh, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry, you two. Okay, we, we messed up. Fuck it. I'm sorry. I tried. I'm sorry. <sighs> but anyway, we'll get, try again next week. Getting back to the match. Who do you say wins this match? God, man. Or how do you see this match going? Well, before anybody announces their pick, I do not see AJ Styles winning it. Rather, he does not need to win it. He's star. He's got so much star power alone. That is the only thing I need to say about that is he is A J fucking Styles. Aru. Yeah. Mr. TNA. He is the face oh, that man. built the place. The place being SmackDown. He was that should be his new name. The face that built the place. Okay. I would go with that. Yeah. Okay. Instead of the champ that runs the game. I want to shoot my face off after hearing that. I, I've come around. I don't like it, but I've come around. He's better than the oh. champ that runs the camp. <laughs> At least it's better than Great Balls of Fire. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> no on. Anyway, oh. Malcolm, who do you say? <laughs> who do you pick? <sighs> uh, oh, shit. Who do I want? Uh, Zane. I want Zane, but I would, I would love to see Corbin win. I want my. It'd be about time for him, but yeah. I'm thinking Zane's going to win that. So Zane's your overall pick? Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we boring you? Yeah, I'm up. no. I had to get a jaw out. All Damn. right. If you were boring me, trust me, I'll let y'all know. I'll let boring. you motherfuckers know. No, you wouldn't. You'd just be asleep on the couch like Malcolm is. You just wait, like just 
Ugh, uh, no, but see, he'd be in a coma. Anyway, <laughs> I'm... You'd be too if you hit this tile. Well, yeah. But anyway, you, you, I'm yeah, picking the obvious up. choice. I'm going with the lone wolf, Baron... Corbin. Corbin. Now, yeah. Dolph, he had his chance four years ago. We don't really need him to... We don't want to see that again. Sami Zayn, no, I can't see it. Shinsuke, too early. Too early. As if he needs it anyway. Owens, he's already got... I mean, it'd be great to see him as champion, too. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that I'm saying it wouldn't happen. He would be so obnoxious with it. He's going to be, like, bragging all... all he the would announce that he is the face of WWE. And then John Cena will say something about that. There, <laughs> there's his shtick. The face of WWE. Ha! And then AJ Styles, like MJ said... He doesn't really need that. He, 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 he's got star power. So, therefore, I'm taking the obvious choice. Baron okay. Corbin. Okay. Damn. You and your damn bird, I tell you. <laughs> My pick. Slanging them birds. What's wrong with you? I don't know, man. Before I pick, I'm going to give a quick power ranking. Number six, Dolph Ziggler. He's got no momentum to be world champion. Hell, any really. kind. No. Oh, any championship. Five, Sorry. AJ Styles. He's too good for that briefcase. He doesn't need it because he's AJ fucking Styles. Yeah, you bitches. Number four, Kevin Owens. He's already not state champion. He's pretty much hit that point where he kind of needs the briefcase, but then again, he kind of doesn't. He's in the in between. He needs the briefcase to catapult him out of the mid card. I don't know why he's he in the mid card because he's well, he's United States champion, so he is. The the king, he's, he's the king of mid cards. He's the face of the mid card. <laughs> ah, good one. Face. Number three is uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Like he said, he's too popular. early. He, he's, but he's popular as fuck, well, though. So. I mean, he could use it, but it's, it's too, early, too early. Way too early, yeah. Besides that, Styles versus Nakamura for WrestleMania. <clears throat> Moving on. <coughs> Number two. <laughs> Baron Corbin. Oh, my God. Because he's pretty much one of the top heels of SmackDown right now, aside from Kevin Owens. Possibly. Dolph Ziggler sucks as a heel, so... Anyway, Seltzer, oh god, he irritates me. He's one of the top singles heels on SmackDown. Getting the briefcase would be right, would be going in the right direction for him. Momentum overload. But my number one pick for this has got to be the underdog from the underground, Sami Zayn, because he is one of the best damn wrestlers in the business. What's on my Elvis and Eric over here? Hell yeah. Aside, aside from Styles, aside from Omega, aside from Okada, aside from Balor, Rollins, name them all, Sami Zayn is in that conversation as one of the best damn wrestlers. He has been shoved around. He has not gotten a minor belt. He has not gotten a tag belt. I believe it's time he got a major belt. The last time he was champion was in NXT. That was a long time ago. And he got put out by Kevin Owens in one of the best rivalries he got of, fucked on that of all space and time, yes. The rivalry is legendary. Yeah. Anyway, Sami Zayn, my pick. Sami Zayn, his pick. Baron Corbin is his pick. Okay. How are you going to forget your own name? We shall, we shall see. Oh, you have to forget their own name. That's a weird spot. Air crow. Anyway, <laughs> Let's move on to the main event. It, it, will, it will be for the WWE Championship. It will be the modern day Maharaja known as Jinder Mahal <laughs> taking on Randy Orton. The hometown boy. Now, he is, like he said earlier, and he just said, hometown boy, St. Louis, Missouri. Legends going to be all over the place. He said he's got legends sitting around ringside including Cowboy Bob Orton. His father. Yeah. And I forget who else he named. And up. other people, you know, if his grandfather was probably right, he'd be and there. And Bruno said no material, probably going to be there. Did he really say Pat Patterson? Uh, I, I don't think Pat it would be. Pat Patterson from Canada. I don't think it would be Pat Patterson, though. He, Pat Patterson I know Bruno said no material, probably going to be there. Well, he said world champion, so let's leave it at that. Anyways. Randy Orton is not walking out with that belt. I'm going to say it. He's not going to. He don't to. really need it right now. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry. I will say this. He did say on SmackDown that he vows to walk out of his hometown of St. Louis as the WWE Champion, but we no. are no. all in agreement. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, no. Besides gender having the Singh Brothers 
Hall. and other things, pulling tactics here and there. Jinder Mahal is going to retain. Jinder Mahal. The modern day Maharaja, Maharaja will retain the title. Now, Jinder Mahal, since he's come back, he has worked stiff. Hard. Uh, Just ask Finn Balor. Anyway. Um, God, he got hit him hard. He knocked him sh six shades of stupid. Anyway. I he was still alive. But Jinder Mahal looks like a million bucks. Wrestles like a uh, thousand bucks. I guess. It's not pretty, but there's something there. He gets you there. He tries. He tries. He gets him there. But on the opposite side of that, this is hometown. As we know, WWE is notorious for having the hometown people lose. Nine and a half times out of ten, if not ten times out of ten, hometown people lose. And no stage is an exception. We saw that at WrestleMania. Yes. Anyway. Hmm. But, um... Yeah, like we said, Jinder Mahal not walking out. You meant Randy Orton. You meant Randy Orton. Sorry, Randy Orton not walking out with the title. He he might just call it Uber to get out of there. Yeah, but we shall see how everything turns out. We all pick him Jinder Mahal. Yeah, there. but but to add a little salt to the um, not a little salt, but to add a little flavor to this. Could you imagine Sami Zayn getting the briefcase and he just overthinks every cash in? Yeah. It's just, like, take for example... I don't, like, I don't know when I do this. No, like, okay, if uh, if he decides to cash in tomorrow, like right after he wins it. Yeah. Like, he takes advantage of Jinder Mahal, who won. He got laid out by an RKO. And Z Sami Zayn runs down to the ring he thinks with a referee and tells... And he stops midway through. He's just like, wait a minute, no. Uh, no, I don't want to catch... Yes, I want to catch... No, I don't want to, you know... Back and forth. And then Jinder Mahal just walks out of there. And he's just like, nope, don't want to cash in. That would be funny as shit. Yeah. I would be mad as fuck because you could have been champion. Before. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've done that so many times. Like, well, just, just look at uh, Rollins trying to cash in on Lesnar. He had Lesnar down, but, you know, he he never got to cash it in. Yeah. Until WrestleMania. Until WrestleMania, we pulled off the biggest steal of all time. Yeah. This was a major heist. That can never be topped. No. But, with all that being said, mm -hmm. this is our preview of Money in the Bank 2017, which will be tomorrow on the WWE Network. Is SmackDown Live, exclusive pay-per-view. I think this will be, right now I'm looking at this as a meh. It could be good, but then again, great. you know. I'm looking at it as a very good pay-per-view. A big upgrade from the last pay-per-view. I'm, ju I'm just being real here. Like, right now I got mid-level expectations. Yeah. But... With all that being said, as usual, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Sarah, Devin, uh, Facebook. Please, please, people, please, check out our Patreon. Please. Please. Yep. Please. Because this will be the last video that's going to go to YouTube. We are sick of YouTube shit. Yeah. We are not getting any money to put towards Wondershop for this. Not to mention, they are also cracking down on wrestling, which yeah. is gay as which, well. which is near and dear to us. Yeah. It's not fair. It's still real to us, damn it. Especially Thank for, you. you know, one of our favorite indie promotions, What Culture. Yeah. They, they've had to stop their free YouTube shows. Because you fucks. Because YouTube. YouTube sucks. So please, people, sign the fucking petition and fight back. Tell Google and, and YouTube to suck my ball. Yeah, and again, please, check out our Patreon. Please. please. $5 a month, pay for preview, pay for review. Every time. 10 yeah. bucks a month, preview, review, and new content we got coming on the way. And it may sound like we're begging, but seriously. We are begging. Come on. Please. Come on, please. Come on. Do it. Please. This money we'll put the... I wear a shirt that says, please... All right, Check I'm gonna, if you don't subscribe to us, I will come to where you live and break Malcolm, Malcolm, let's plan Z. Let's plan Z. Okay, all right. still plan A. But okay. anyway, anyway. Let's, let's let's go ahead. Any last few words? Just your contributions will be used to upgrade Wondershop. We're already looking to you know get a desktop uh, computer, microphones, all microphones, editing software. I mean, we got a new camera. We can't edit on it yet. Yeah, that thing like three months ago. Yeah, so just easy. please, people, just donate. Just give us a look. We recorded our review of WrestleMania. I can't touch it because Windows Movie Maker sucks balls. <laughs> <laughs> we can't 
stress it enough, people. We're struggling over here. We're dying. We're not man. trying to just take your money for nothing. We're doing it for good cause. We're not going to quit our... Well, they've got day jobs. i got a night job. We're not going to quit our jobs for it. Yeah. Unless we get huge as fuck and then, uh, you know what. Anyway, I, I don't know. I don't feel right taking these people money and using it to buy my shit. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, uh, I don't, no, I don't feel right. Yeah, I don't feel right. Like that's that. I'd have to share the profits. No, if guys. it was YouTube, yeah, we wouldn't have no problem with that, but but anyway, let's just go ahead and sign out. Yeah, let's do that. I am the Water Shove United States Champion, the one and only Rodimus Prime with... He is the Water Shove, WWE Champion, Mainstream. Malcolm. And this, is, and this is the one and only War Machine, MJ Daru. And we will see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.